More and more Utahns are working from home because of the pandemic. As Fox 13's Ben Winslow reports live from Capitol Hill, your elected state lawmakers are looking at ways to expand that. Ben. Yeah, the state was just starting to experiment with the idea of teleworking last year when COVID-19 forced us all to embrace it. And now lawmakers are looking at making it a little more permanent. By being forced to do this by a virus, that companies have really learned how to do this more creatively. Like a lot of us, members of the Utah State Legislature have gotten better at teleworking. Now they're drafting bills to expand teleworking in government and in private sector. What I'm looking to do is to try to cap capitalize on the positive result, right? Uh, cleaner air, uh, fewer cars on the road, less traffic without obviously the whole economic shutdown. Senator Lincoln Fillmore is running a resolution encouraging Utah businesses to designate employees based on whether they can telework. A Senate colleague is running a bill to classify government workers the same way. Senator Fillmore says it'll be good for Utah's air quality and will help with growth issues. If we can find a way to move employees away from population centers, I think that we can find that we'll have really strong economic growth spread more evenly throughout the state instead of only concentrated along the Wasatch Front. But internet access remains a constant issue, especially for rural and lower income communities. We have reached a point in our society where access to the internet is a right um, because we have set up our very society based on internet access. You can't it's almost impossible to open a business without being able to file all of the license, you know, everything online. Representative Jennifer Daly Provo is running a bill to create a special office in the state to deal with internet access and ensuring everyone can get it. Access to the internet is has become so ubiquitous, we barely even think about how to get it or where to get it or that it will be accessible. And we need to remember that we've built so much of our society around that access uh, that it's we need to be reminded um, especially now that that those barriers exist the bills are likely to be considered either in a special session coming up or in the general session of the utah state legislature that starts in 2021 live on the hill ben winslow fox 13 news utah